This is the title page to the first edition of what is known as the Haydock Bible, published by Thomas Haydock in Manchester in 1811. It is the work of his brother, George Leo Haydock, and it became the most popular English-speaking Catholic Bible of the 19th century on both sides of the Atlantic. The Haydock brothers were born here at the Tag. George Haydock on the 11th of April 1774, and his older brother Thomas on the 21st of February 1772. This is a painting from around 1800 of Father George Leo Haydock. In 1785, at 11 years of age, he was sent to the Catholic seminary of Douai in France. He was joined here by Brother Thomas, but in 1793 their studies were interrupted when the French Republic declared war on England. The French closed the college and arrested students, but George and Thomas managed to escape by sneaking out of the town along a canal, carrying fishing rods so they would appear to be on an innocent fishing trip. The brothers continued their studies in England and George became a priest in 1798. Thomas was advised though that he was unsuitable for the priesthood and he left the seminary. In retrospect this was perhaps the wrong advice, but he moved to Manchester and by 1799 began a career as a Catholic publisher. By now the long era of Catholic persecution and penal laws is gradually coming to an end and to help speed this change, George and his elder brother Thomas conceived the idea of publishing a new commentary for a new edition of the English Catholic Bible. That Bible was called the Douay Reims Bible, originally translated from the Latin by the English College in Douay in the 16th century. For his Bible, George Haydock wrote a new extended commentary intended to challenge established Protestant interpretations. This Douay Bible was first published by Thomas Haydock in instalments between 1811 and 1814 and became the standard English Catholic Bible of the 19th century. George Haydock went into retirement and in 1831 he settled at the Tag. This is a detail from a drawing by George of the Tag and despite the pigsty shown at the lower left he fondly referred to it as the Golden Tag. In 1839 he came out of retirement to go to another mission in Penrith. He died there on November the 29th, 1849, aged 75. After 1840, Thomas Haydock also retired to Preston. He died on August the 25th, 1859, aged 87, and was buried in the family grave at St Mary's Newhouse Chapel in Barton. This is a first edition of the Haydock Bible which is in the care of St Mary's New House and I am grateful to parishioner John Bleasdale for arranging my visit to see this valuable book. A new memorial to its publisher Thomas Haydock was blessed and dedicated at St Mary's on the 15th of May 2016. John recalls being contacted by Sidney Olhausen from Houston, Texas, a collector of antiquarian English Catholic Bibles and a recognised expert in his specialist field of study. Mr Olhausen was aware of the Haydock family grave in St Mary's churchyard and felt that a memorial should be created in Thomas's memory. Working on behalf of Mr Olhausen, St Mary's commissioned Devon Base architect Edward Holden and the stone imported from China was prepared from one piece of granite to include the Bible on the top. The Bible is the actual size of the real book. Memorial benefactor Mr Olhausen attended the ceremony, second from right on this photo of the day, standing next to the bishop. He also generously presented St Mary's with their own first edition of the Bible. The Haydock Bible has been in popular use by Catholics on both sides of the Atlantic, but especially in the USA, for more than a century. George Haydock's Penrith Link was recently celebrated by the charitable Cumbria County History Trust. In early 2021, Joe Biden was sworn in as US President with his hand on an heirloom family copy of the Haydock Bible. The first American edition of the popular Bible had been produced in President Biden's home state of Pennsylvania in 1823-25. In 1961, 
the 150th anniversary of Haydock's first edition, the first Catholic President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, also took his oath of office on a copy of the Haydock Bible, which was owned by his mother's family, the Fitzgeralds.